Hi, in this video, I'm going to make a neural network using recurrent layers, in this case, long short term memory or LSTM, to analyze text and classify it uh, depending on the type of machinery failure. The LSTM is a recurrent neural network, and recurrent neural networks are characterized by having states which are good to capture dependencies in sequences of data. Okay, let's make uh, this example. The first step is to load the data and pre-process it. The data is going to come from a comma separate value files. Let's open it outside of MATLAB. It could be open in a notepad or Excel spreadsheet. Okay, uh, so basically it has five columns. The first column is to, uh, has a description uh, indicating, uh, describing the failure and followed by the category, which are four types of failures, mechanical, electronic, big, and software, the urgency, a resolution, and cost of fixing. But in this example, we're only going to use the first two columns. This one is going to be the input of the neural network. It's going to process, we're going to pre-process this text to have the, to get the input, and then this is going to be the, the four Output type uh, the output the classification output. Okay, so let's uh, load it. Uh, we're gonna use read table to to get uh, the data. Okay, so let's see what we got. So for this, uh, we're gonna use this is a I/O function that is gonna uh, basically this is to read a comma separate value file as strings. Let's see what we have, and we have a table basically. Uh, so by head, uh, we pick up the first eight rows, and you can see the same thing that we saw in the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so let's get the categories. And no, no, uh, right now the categories are strings, but uh, for training, uh, it is better to have them as a categorical uh, type. So let's convert the the row to be categorical. And now let's take a look at the table, and now it's categorical with four possible values. Okay, now let's analyze the categories in a histogram to see the distribu their distribution. Okay, and we can see that the majority of failures are mechanical, followed by electronic, leak, and software failures. It's good to know that software is very reliable, at least in this example. <laughs> Okay, and now uh, let's divide the, the data in partition 20% for validation and 80% for, uh, for training. Okay, so this uh, is a structure and the train, this, this is a method that is going to give us uh, some indexes to access the data and same thing is going to happen for test. It's going to give us a booleans to basically select what is of test and what is a, a of training. Okay, so the partition is going to tell us that uh, for 20% of validation, we're going to have 384 uh, rows for training and 96 rows for validation. So let's make sure about that. So now we have a 384 rows in here. And now we have 96 rows in here as specified here. That's good. Okay, now in, from the data, let's pick up the, the text, only the first col column, which is the description. Let's keep them separated because, uh, okay. And this is the expected output, the one for training and the one for validation. Okay, so these are our descriptions and these are our labels. Okay, so now let's use the word cloud to see what are the words that are more frequent, uh, frequently used in here. So this is a command from tech, a MATLAB text uh, analytics toolbox, uh, sound mixer, scanner, blender, software fuse, uh, coolant, uh, a bunch of vocabulary, cracked, overheating, okay, smoke. Okay, uh, now uh, we have the descriptions as strings and the neural network uh, works better with numbers so let's go into pre-process them let's, uh, with this function from the example and we put a breakpoint there so we can see what happens and okay so we have the strings in here we're going to talk to analyze it 
basically does a breaking the the sentence string into multiple tokens. You can see that the length or the number of words per per row is different. So we have to fix that uh, later. So we don't want a uppercase, we turn a lowercase and we just get rid of the dots. Okay, and we're gonna do the same for the validation data. And this is how the data looks now. Okay, uh, usually natural language processing problems, uh, you convert the, the words, the, the words to, to a scalar uh, that basically encodes the word into a into a, a, no, a number, an index. For example, let's say that you have dog, dog is zero, cat is one, a table is two. A, each word is gonna have a, a, a number. But a, it has been found that it's very convenient to have an embedding, what they call embedding, which is basically a, a conversion between that scalar that is an index to a word to a vector. And the vector basically has a series of elements that uh, are features and the whole uh, vector is basically uh, describing various semantics of the word, and th this is very uh, useful for analyzing uh, the, 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 the text. And how do you convert uh, from this word index to a vector? Uh, it's basically uh, like a layer in deep learning. It's basically trained uh, through weights to find, uh, and by training th those semantics conversions uh, to the vector are found. And, uh, the deep learning toolbox has a, a word embedding layer that is trained for that. Uh, actually, this is from text analytics toolbox. Uh, also, you can do your own uh, your own conversion from from index to to vector, uh, or uh, also uh, there are pre-trained embeddings that you can use and uh, apply it on the data. And instead of the input being the index, it's gonna be the vector. Of each word, so those are various options that you can use for embed. Okay, but before uh, applying the embedding, we need to convert the the strings of the words into numbers, and for that we need a dictionary. So for the dictionary, we pass all the the strings in our training set, and we come up with this dictionary here. Has he, he found it, a 430 words, and yeah, that you can see the vocabulary and you're gonna expect basically a string that you find in machine failure descriptions. Okay, uh, also it is important uh, the length of the of each string. As you as you saw uh, they vary in size and this is not good. For example, let's say that you want all of them to be the same size and you pick up the, the biggest one. And then you have very small like this. You have a huge pattern here, and that's gonna have a negative effect in the performance or the precision of the in neural network. And one strategy that usually is done, uh, I, maybe it's not being used in here, uh, but is sorting the sorting these uh, rows, this description, if, uh, uh, according to the size of the of the of the text and the number of words and basically apply different padding for each batch. So the the padding is relative to to the batch and that way uh, the padding is less uh, affect less the training. Okay, so let's take a look uh, at the distribution of lens in the document with this histogram and we can see that most of them are six uh, only has six words. But uh, let's pick up 10, uh, the example actually picks up 10, uh, so that you can pick up uh, most of the words. So if you go beyond 10, it's going to be clip, and if you are below 10, it's going to be padded. Okay, so sequence length is going to be 10. And now uh, this is from text to uh, my lab text analy analytics as as well, as well, it's gonna take the encoding, the word encoding, the dictionary, it's gonna take the, 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 the words, the document, and we're gonna specify 10. So this one is gonna convert the words to numbers. And if you, if you go above 10, it's gonna clamp you, and below, it's gonna pad you. Okay, so let's take a few of them. You can see that all of them are the same size, 10. 
no. Okay, and if you take a one of them, a, you're gonna see numbers. And, and you can see this one has a size of four, so you get the padding here. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing for a validation. Now uh, we are done a uh, preprocessing the data, which is ready for the network. And now let's create the network itself. Uh, the input size is going to be a scalar. Okay, we're going to use a sequence input layer. Uh, notice that this uh, that uh, we're going to train this network with train network. And this one is going to take the data, which it has a a sequence dimension, which is the the dimension of the number of words which in each description and you have the batch uh, the sample dimension which is the number of rows and within that uh, you have the scalar value so in here by specifying that okay you have only have a scalar what happens is that the train network command is going to be aware that you have a sample dimension and you have a time dimension a sequence uh, dimension and it's going to find them and it's going to use them and it's going to fit word by word into the network and that's why how, why, how it's training it uh, because this is a recurrent neural network uh, it's trained a uh, one element out of time of the sequence you go a uh, one word at a time and that's how the the state of the of the lstm layer gets updated this is the one that has state and it's going to have 80 states uh, okay okay so the word embedding is what i mentioned before that you convert from the from this index into a vector that expresses the semantic and that a uh, semantic conversion is going to be trained as part of the network as well so we're going to uh, have a embedding vector of size 50 the number of words uh, is the number of words in the dictionary which 430 and the number of categories is four okay Okay, now uh, with this, we have the main dimension, number of words, and number of hidden units, 80, number of classes. So basically what happens is, is that you take the words, the words are converted into semantic vectors, the embedding, and the embedding is fed into the LSTM, and the LSTM uh, is going to uh, create the, uh, basically give us uh, more feature information, and eventually this fully connected layer is going to do the classification, it's going to go to four classes of machine failures okay so let's take a look at how the network looks with the analyze network command okay so here is uh, you can see that the input is the word is converted into a semantic embedded vector then you go to lstm which basically word by word is analyzing the dependencies between them and then finally, the output is going to be a classification of the text. Okay. Okay, so we have the network. Let's uh, do the training options. So we're going to use adaptive momentum with a batch size of 16. If the gradients go beyond two, they're going to be clipped. We're going to, for every epoch, we're going to shuffle the order of the rows. I understand is the rows, uh, not the, the words themselves. And we have validation data, so we specify this is the input data, uh, which is the tokenized, the converted to index words, and the expected failure type. Okay, so we have the options, and now we're gonna train the network. We pass the input data, which is already processed, and the expected outcome. So yeah, so basically we have a cell array. So this train network is able to handle cell arrays, uh, is able to handle tables, it, it, uh, but usually they, it take data stores, uh, which is a construct from MATLAB to process the, the data. Okay, so we pass the layers, the options, and this is enough uh, to get a train a neural network. Okay, so it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna show a little bit of the progress and then pause it. Okay, so uh, we are using a GPU which is supposed to accelerate this. Uh, it's going pretty fast uh, between the epochs. Uh, the loss is going down. 
the accuracy is going up and it has about 90% accuracy compared to the close to 100 the training so there's some overfeeding uh, but still it's not that bad uh, it's performing pretty well and it finished pretty quickly the training I didn't have even have to pause, pause the video okay so now the network is trained and let's take three samples to see how it behaves so coolant is pulling underneath sorter so this looks like a leakage it blows fuses uh, okay this should be electrical and some rattling sounds coming from the assembler this should be mechanical okay so we have a leakage electrical and mechanical okay and now let's preprocess because the neural network doesn't understand strings so we're gonna get the tokenized document and we're gonna apply the encoding to get the the indexes okay so this is our input data now and if we open it like this you can see it's encoded and that's what we feed to the classify and this is actually a method we can do it like this okay instead of doing this we can do this okay so you pass the input which the classification the, the input data and let's get the labels for them okay so we get leakage a uh, electric failure a mechanical failure uh, so we saw that the network was uh, trained very easily uh, it was fast and 90 percent uh, accuracy for the validation data and our samples uh, were correct okay thank you very much for watching